Is there anything worse than your favorite TV show coming to an end? Well, there is actually. When that show still had a lot of life in it and should never have been cancelled in the first place. It's one thing when a show reaches the end of its natural life cycle and rides off into the sunset, but it's another when that show is murdered by the network. I have a terrible idea. Here's a look at 5 TV cancellations that were a mistake. Bloodline with an all-star cast including Kyle Chandler, Sissy Spacek, and Linda Cardellini, Bloodline was touted as the next big prestige series from Netflix. Instead, it got a pink slip after just three seasons, despite increasing buzz, including an Emmy win and Golden Globe nomination for co-star Ben Mendelsohn. Since Netflix rarely releases any of their viewership statistics, it's impossible to know how many fans the show actually has, but rumors claim the series was yanked as a financial dispute between Netflix and Sony, which produced the series. Whatever the reason, it's too bad this bloodline has gone extinct. Marvel's Agent Carter while Marvel movies have been hitting on all cylinders, their TV shows have had a spottier record. That's what makes it even more tragic that arguably their best show yet, Marvel's Agent Carter, was cancelled after just two seasons, ending on a cliffhanger that may never be resolved. I'm leaving, just give me a second. Who shot him? Is he okay? What's happening? We may never know. And the show's untimely demise was especially galling considering the series was not just a critical darling, but vital to building the backstory of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, giving fans a look at all the events that shaped the superhero world from the end of World War II through the debut of Iron Man. With decades of stories still untold, let's hope Marvel gives Agent Carter another chance sometime in the future. Good Girls Revolt Quick history lesson, back in 1983, a new sitcom called Cheers was among the lowest rated series on television. Rather than cancel it though, NBC decided to give it a chance to build a fanbase, resulting in one of the most beloved runs in television history. Cheers thrived because it was given more time to mature, but no such opportunity was given to the Amazon series Good Girls Revolt, which was amazingly cancelled just six weeks after the first season debuted in October 2016. Far too soon for the streaming service to know whether or not its story about women seeking equal rights in the 60s could catch on with viewers. Some of the other girls and I are filing an equal employment claim. It's illegal for them not to let us write, and we want the policy changed. So why the quick hook? According to reports, Amazon Studios chief Roy Price personally disliked the show, even though it apparently was popular with viewers. He gets a vote, fans don't. The Nightly Show when Stephen Colbert left his Comedy Central hit The Colbert Report in 2015, veteran Daily Show contributor Larry Wilmore took over the time slot with his own spin on the events of the day, The Nightly Show, and his take on things was one many fans felt was long overdue. And hearing from you guys has really been incredible. Even you, at Wilmore Blows 666. <laughs> Unfortunately, Wilmore's dry humor and incisive look at political and social issues didn't draw high enough ratings to satisfy the network. The good news is, Wilmore has since signed a development deal with ABC. But in today's divisive political climate, his voice is sorely missed. Brain Dead. The science fiction horror political satire comedy was probably a bit of a risk for CBS, but it had a nice pedigree going for it. It was created by Michelle and Robert King, creators of CBS's long-running legal drama The Good Wife. The offbeat premise, a documentary filmmaker from a prominent family goes to work for her senator brother in Washington, D.C., and discovers that parasitic alien bugs have taken over the minds of the U.S. government's top leaders. The show was cancelled because of low ratings, probably because people are just getting tired of reality television. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.